I'm the Dover Athletic Manager after a 1-1 draw at Hewish Park. And he was like deja vu in the Torquay game two weeks ago. At least he came back with a point, but it oh, so close to being all three. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, I feel good tonight, I've got to say, because um, I thought it was a wonderful performance. You know, we had our troubles uh, getting here again uh, today in terms of big accident on the, on the motorway and it delayed us a little bit. We got here fortunately on time, uh, or just after two o'clock. Uh, so the preparation wasn't brilliant. Um, but we were excellent in the same condition, but very different from other teams in the wind. Uh, got an early goal, as you say, it was a little bit deja vu type of thing, uh, Torquay, a little bit concerned of that. But, you know, I think if you look at the 90 minutes, we should have won the game. And we got two one-on-ones pretty much at the death. Um, young Aaron and he's beating himself up in there a little bit because he knows it. Uh, you know, if he, it's better if he takes the first one, we go two new up. I think that's difficult for them to come back from that. So, um, but you know, he's a young lad. He's going to miss chances. But I thought as a team, I thought defensively we were phenomenal, and uh, it was a really good performance. We lost Travis in a warm up. There was another injury, unfortunately. He, he, he was down to play. Brought the skipper back in who hadn't been playing much. I thought he was he was brilliant today. You know, bearing in mind he's 35 years old, we had to frame straight back in today. But all, all of them, you know, I thought credit to the, to the football club to, today. And, uh, you know, I think we deserve three points. And, you know, it was great to see that the fans that did turn up to, to today get behind the team again. And it was good that we went over and shook our hands afterwards. So, how disappointed were you with the equaliser and the way it was scored? I think, you know, it's hard to, to be crit too critical. It's a ball that goes in with the wind. Um, perhaps we could have gone against them, the, 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 the lad that got run across. But, you know, the goalkeeper's got no chance now because it's just it's coming in at that angle. And, and, and the base, unfortunately, has gone in the corner, uh, you know. And um, but give the first initial bit of the great header, perhaps could have got out a little bit quicker. But it was just one of those things. And, um, you know, we didn't deserve that. But uh, we've got to say, out of the game, that's a kick. Club and not long in the championship, and uh, for me, we're the best side. Do you feel after this result that perhaps you have turned a little corner? Is there light there at the end of this long, well, dark tunnel? Yeah, we can't get too carried away, though. We've got to try and, we've got to try and follow it up against a nice, easy one against Wrexham on, on, on next Saturday. <laughs> so, don't get any easier, do they? But um, for me, we deserved, we deserved to win the game on Tuesday. Well, did, did we deserve to win the game against Wolves and Chelsea? Probably not because we didn't we didn't defend well enough for the two their two uh, for their three opportunities. But the amount of chance that we create against Wolston, uh, we should have got something out of that game. So, and we the boys wear the GPS and we we monitor how much they are working as a group and as individuals. And it was right up there on Tuesday and, and any other game you, you would have won it with the amount of work they're putting in. I just said keep working and they've done it again today. And you will get your rewards in the end. And Andy, nice to see Alfie Pavey back at the club on a month's loan this time from Maidstone. How do you think he played today? I thought he'd done great. He said he turned out on Thursday night and trained. He knows the club, he doesn't know the lads. Um, he worked his socks off. Um, he occupied their centre halves. Um, so for me, he was, he, he, he was brilliant. He said he hadn't been playing much. Um, I think there was obviously a few eyebrows raised about him coming. But we, we, we needed something else. We lost Ben Williams and the groin. You know, he worked with me before. Um, I know what he'll give us, and uh, he gave us a lot today.